Yo, how's it going guys? Wanted to do a quick video on some thoughts on NBA 2K25 information we got yesterday. Um, you know, some things don't apply to us who like simulation and some of them, some of it does. So, some of the biggest features I really want to talk about, of course, the pro play animations. We have 9,000, supposedly 9,000 do pro play animations, which is, you know, is great. You know, I mean, all these all these new animations. Of course, it was a little. It could look a little wonky sometimes last year. Um, that's their first year doing it, so understandable. So it should be cleaned up and looked even better. And I think Pro Play is gonna be a great feature for long term for 2K because it just makes the game, you know, look look more realistic. You no know, jump shots, ball handling, dunks, all that. Um, new dribble engine. They say that a lot, so we'll see about that. Um, but from this video on Curry. This, this dribbling does look really good, I gotta say. You know, I mean, the feet planting looks good. You know, it looks doesn't look glitchy. Like, the, you can see the dribbling doesn't look glitchy. You don't see all those unrealistic launches where they kind of, like, skip feet. I know that was something I had to fix in 2K24 where they just, their feet would literally just skate on the floor. You know, there was no feet planting when dribbling, which you can see from Shea there. That's all the feet planting and all that. It looks just less glitchy. It looks real realistic. Good, good to see. Um, some of this stuff not really gonna be big for us. This, all this stuff's mainly online. It's timing stuff. Defense, we'll see. Um, you know, they kind of add some new stuff to defense and stuff. We will see. Like, it's gonna have to do a lot of testing. You know, last year, I remember when the game first came out, it was so sticky. You know, two K twenty four when it came to defense, and it was just like too much. And um, badges really helped fix that issue last year. <clears throat> but this is what I really, that really got me, you know, what I noticed, a court spacing. So new spacing engine for AI, over 20 adjustment locations from inside the three-point line that feeds AI a constant stream of spacing information. Yeah, this is great stuff here. This is what we needed to see, even for online users. You know, I play Rec, I play Pro-Am. This is going to be huge for online and offline guys. You know, even, you know, centers who don't shoot the ball, they don't sit directly under the rim. You know, I mean, they sit in the far dunker or beside the rim. You know, in past years, you got guys just sitting right under the rim. It's like, that's not where centers sit, you know, um, which I'll show a screenshot of that where I did notice that. And it says here, um, defense too. So it goes to defense as well. So help lot. I really, yeah, this is going to be a big deal. You know, I really hope defense and help logic, which we'll get to the court spacing something later, but this goes in queue, you know, goes hand in hand. We're going to need that help. We're going to need that defensive help being spot on because of the court being bigger this year. Another big feature that I, this is just awesome right here for the all 2K community, all uh, creators, sorry, all guys who edit playbooks and all that, edit rosters. Playbook sharing, this is awesome right here, you know. Um, we, you know, we do playbooks, uh, Jay Cross and I do playbooks, and, you know, they're a big deal. It makes the game look, makes the guys in, in the right spots and all that, but this is awesome that we can share playbooks. We'll be able to get those playbooks done faster, and just gives us a little more motivation, you know, to get those done quicker. Um and they're adding new plays. They started adding new plays last year. They added tons of new plays. A lot of great new action. And um, that's going to be great. So here I'm also done. But I wanted to really talk about this. This is a huge deal for me. The court. Not the court being bigger. But Mike Wang has confirmed that they have adjusted you know, the size of the players to the court ratio. Which this is a big deal, man. This is... This has been a problem in 2K for so many years that I have, I have complained about. I've talked to devs about saying, you know, hey, the court is just way too small or the players are just way too big. And this is awesome to see. Look at the spacing between Murray and Gordon at the wing. That is awesome right there. And also, we talked about that spacing new engine. Look at Jokic sitting in the far dunker there. That That's what you want to see. You know, and when it comes to offline play... We're going to have to really watch defense. We're going to need defense on par because it's going to be even harder to guard with the court spacing being this well, which I am happy with for sure. And here's another picture. Tatum, you know, he's got plenty of space in the wing. 
you got five out offense there, sweet. You know, I mean, you got Porzingis in the far corner. And just look at this picture right here. Curry, you know, plant, look how big the floor feels. You know, it's just, the, and I don't think they made the court bigger. I just think, like I said, the player ratio is just more realistic. This is going to be big for online and offline. So I play rec, like I said, play pro-am. And for online, you know, <clears throat> zone defense really is the, you know, what everyone mainly uses on competitive play. And it's because the players are too big and they just get easy steals and they can cover the wing at the top all at one time and just cover both. That's unrealistic. Just as they have a center who can protect both sides of the rim. That's unrealistic. If you played basketball, you cannot protect both sides of the rim. That's literally impossible. There's there's too much space floor. You're, this, it's not possible. So this year, I mean, it's going to really make defense even harder. And I, I'm really excited about this, you know, with the court being, the court and players being more realistic. This is going to be awesome to see. Like I said, we'll have to, We'll have to make sure that defense and that help logic is on par because if not, we'll be scoring way too much. So, But that's all I wanted to give. That's kind of my final thoughts on 2K25. I'm pretty excited. Um, little update on the roster. We will definitely be doing the roster next year. That's why I'm making this video. But I do, I do, I have maybe talked to a couple people on Discord and the Operation of Sports and on messages, you know, I think me and Jay Cross, we would like a little more help. You know, if anybody would be interested. I think I got some people I'm really interested in reaching out to on Discord. You know, guys who've been rocking with us for years. Because um, it takes a lot of time, you know. And I'd like to get the roster done a lot quicker. You know, I don't compensate really much of any. I don't compensate anything on this. So it's really just out of fun, you know, enjoyment of the game. You know, it all started because I was just not satisfied with 2K's gameplay. And, you know, I just wanted to make it better. And that's where it all started. And now we're here since 2K20. So, you know, I think it's been me and Jay Cross every year for the last five years. And, you know, I think we could use a lot more help, you know, and get this thing done faster so the community can play with it a lot longer. and get Because for me personally, I'd like to get more of my NBA seasons done. You know, I'm only getting maybe one in. And I just like like to play more, you know, and instead of editing more. <laughs> Because, you know, I work full-time. We all do. You know, i got full-time jobs, families. I'm married. So I just don't have the time, you know. And it'd be great to get a little more help. But that's our thought. That's my thoughts on 2K25, some of the new stuff, you know. I'm pretty excited. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about some things I said, some things I pointed out, or some of the new features that you are excited about. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.